Bro, I can't remember anything. This is main quest, but... Signpost. Double leg pay comes from that. I trusted a woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me my name for her. She was looking for a true shine. Skelly got oil. Wait, didn't I bring back Siri already? I went to that island and... Or did I delete my saves or something, man? It's been too fucking long. It's been like two months. No, 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 no. It's One, two, three. Yeah, almost three months since I played this game. Ah, uh, shit. I think I went like... Uh, one of these islands. And I brought back Siri. Look at my little game. This is December 27. Uh, it doesn't show my level in there, so it's kind of hard to understand. I did Jenny of the Woods and all these small missions. I went to Isle of Miss. I did, so why does it show that I haven't done it yet? Like when I go here, it still shows different. that held him up proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Was I really level 22? Wasn't I like 25 or something? I can't remember at all. Best blades love her shite of a weak arm swinging at eight. You know what? I'm gonna save this game and then. Brothers, you know, I'm scared. Save. And then I have this. Let's go there and see what happened. The curse that held him up proved hard it's to the live, same fucking shit. But Jennifer and the witchers enter, managed enter, enter. to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, 
was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. After traveling to the Isle of Mist, some side quests will no longer be built. Recommended 22 or higher, okay? that held him up proved hard to lift but Jennifer and the witchers managed why to this again the ugliest man here and what was it in here the curse that held him up proved hard to lift but Jennifer and the witchers managed to do it the ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man but elf and an elven sage at that Avalach for this was his name was the elven mage who had helped Siri flee the hunt then hidden her away Mists. It's 5.45. There's not much difference there. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What I remember is that I found Siri and then I brought her back then we were preparing for a war and then at that point I realized that I could not get help from many people in there. I'm really confused. Uh, then there is this Jenny of the Woods. Why can't I remember, man? There is evil soft first touch, whatever. Were they the same? Was I on same levels? Or was I on different levels? I just... It's such a pain in the ass to remember. Did I save Siri or did I not? But I do remember that I did not help the Skelliga children, you know, the king's daughter or something. This is a terrible cross with you. You and the sorcerers of us.
think last night too? Steve, I heard that trouble. Showing me. I'm supposed to take a boat though. Why did you spawn there, you dumbass? Not so fast. There's a ball here. I guess I'm supposed to. On this island, the women are not shy. Look at my alchemy stuff. And 
character. Yeah, I forgot about. Wait, there's one empty. What should I put there? Exploding shield. Uh, and then there's this thing. I have ten fucking points. Willow, what the fuck, bro? I've profit an art shit. Uh, can't use these fleet footed. Each bolt has more power. Uh, precise blows. I can upgrade abilities. this 18 so additional points in branch needed to unlock 12 hold Q to alternative mode so oh I can use you nice I can use this Is it limited? God damn it. I can find that side. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What the fuck? Bro, stop, stop, just stop, stop. Ah. What about Witcher senses? How do you do that? Oh yeah, holding.
What? I swear to God, Geralt is acting on his own. Please just cross it like a normal human being. There, there we go. fought in a long time. I don't know if I can do it right now. Thanks, White One. If not for you, that might have taken me much longer. And I need to see Leif. The bitch has nearly ripped his innards out. And we two are all that's left of my crew. All right. You might not have heard. I'm Yalmar on Crate. And I'll never forget you helping me in a time of need. Geralt of Rivia. The Geralt of Rivia? Like in the ballad about the sorceress and the witcher. You're still alive. Looks like it. Right? Well, forgive me. Just thought that all happened long ago. My da used to tell me stories of your adventures. So, what are you doing on Unvik? Your father sent me. What happened to your crew? Let's ask him about your his crew. crew. What happened to them? Ah, it all started with a storm. You see, then came the blasted sirens. I had a Hornwall horn to drive them off, but one night it just disappeared. Next morning the giant ambushed us, crushed half my men, hurled Arvid against the rocks, tucked Viggy under his arm. Just four made it here, but I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventures. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No, that's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. Yeah, but Your father sent me. He needs you on Ard Skellig. Impossible. Da knows I'll not return till I kill the giant. Situation's changed. The fate of all Skellige will be decided on Ard Skellig. You're getting ready to choose a new king. The fate of Skellig is being decided here. If I accomplish this deed, it'll mean the gods have chosen me to rule. The other claimants are already waiting at Kaer Trolda. Mm. Seems I must hurry then. Time to face the giant. Coming with? Uh. Your friend. Oh, uh, yeah, your friend is. We up. should see to your friend. Right. His wounds need tending. Not what I meant. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood, you know. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Let's go. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! Just like crack. I 
I'm telling you. Plowing enormous horse on he is. So I heard. I can't believe I finally got the bastard! Haven't gotten him yet. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! Say that I would have. Careful now. And sure. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Uh, I'm confused, man. All right. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this, I'm great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now. Yeah, he does seem crazy. Voice and all of this. Uh, shit. How do I sneak? I forgot how to sneak or anything like that. Can you actually sneak?
Kage. Poor bugger. Should have let him out. Don't blame yourself. Viggy wasn't exactly the predictable type. As soon as he was out, he could have run at the giant brandishing knot but his fists and his prick. No telling what would have happened. Fight might have not gone our way. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Nope, it's mine. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Uh, look around for what? Actually, like, let's look around. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Is there anything in here? New item received. Let's look at it. This. Which one did I receive right now? Second, wait a second. Now, I do have enough space. Key to big. Oh, now it's fucking useless, bro. What the fuck? What am I even gonna do with that shit? Just said, let's go. I made a mistake looking around. Where the fuck do I find him now? Go point. Why do I mean? Where do I go? Like, how do I fucking finish it? The hell, bro? I hope Sirius and Rebel go. Uh, help you more with his. Oh! Brothers in arm? means that I help these guys then they help me with the fight in Kermor and that, that's what it means so I have already saved Siri. I forgot almost so I have some Witcher contracts contracts have more XP I think compared to the secondary quests I might end up taking some of these First, I gotta, I gotta see what I can do about this one. I think I'm supposed to go back. Wait, no, no, no. no not, the, not the first touch, whatever. I'm looking for this one. This is my mission.
Oh, I broke the boat by crashing it. So, which part should I go? Seems to be the closest distance.
Why can't I call my horse? Sure. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink at this tap. <laughs> Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps beneath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Care Trolder. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Who's I? Well, that was a kind stranger and two assholes. Pig being roasted. Well, what? Show me what you've got. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. Do I have enough food? I'm not gonna buy anything. See ya. And thanks for the service. Really warm and kind. Geralt. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leith. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg, near the lighthouse. It started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. 
Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely. So he sent two men to see what had happened? Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikjel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. What to be said? I'll check it out later. I'm a tad busy. I was wrong about you. Oh, this is a lighthouse. So I have been there before. Well, that is weird. Continental here <coughs> in a long while. Got a betrothed. <laughs> I know your kind. Mm. Geralt of Rivia. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Serious is the These girl, continental I think. dandies come a strutting, then we Raise gotta the drag their corpses out of the inn. Adventure seeker. You've no Ooh. respect for our Watch it. Not ye, nor that witch, Yenna. Adventure seeker. Hey. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, hey? I did come from this side. Did you sever his head? Pleased with your Murder. Mind your manners. Doors need thumping. Out of me sight. They smear your ass with honey yet hero.
average mist. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyo, the lightkeeper? Joran from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, slipped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the rain. Big bugger, bigger than the rest and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something.
What the fuck? We'll split the loot same as always. You get a tenth of what you see. Toss us a shoulder. This motherfucker was a scammer. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. What am I supposed to do? It says below. I didn't notice. Nearby. Are you fucking serious? fucking kidding me. You don't need such loud noises for a game like this, it's not competitive. Bro, shut the fuck up, horse. Dumbass horse.
wait, wait, wait a second. This is what I needed to see. Don't do this dumb shit again. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. I need to read that letter again. A letter. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can feel it. Perhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Hurry up! Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
I have to throw some items out. not doing anything god damn it I guess I have all the way but to wait that's that's also not doing anything how the fuck do I get space Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe, because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. No, I think he's speaking the truth. Best keep that promise. If I ever hear of another ship, even a dinghy, running aground off Eldberg, I'll come back here, finish what the penitent started. Understand? But I... I understand. Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Ask Mikyo for the details. Interesting man. Definitely more than meets the eye with him. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Am I here? Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a keg for the road. Fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Relax, Joran. It's just banter. Weak, but still. Hey, we're serious. Dead serious. And foolish as colts that graze on hemlock. But I'll put you straight. Leave that pot 
some miserable shits. What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died like a fool. This is so stupid, man. Let me Google. Can you save your aunt? Oh, Witcher. Wait, what the fuck? If, uh, if I have completed King's Gambit, I can avoid his death. says how to save your without sacrificing the child. Just out of curiosity, why do they call you madman? Yeah! That's why. Alright, I'm making this video to talk about saving the life of Jorand, son of Sigvald, in a couple of different ways, as well as the lives of all the Jarl's children, depending on the circumstances under which Svanriga becomes king. I will also go over a couple of details about the Cave of Dreams, which, as it turns out, is not the actual Cave of Dreams, and I'll even show you a small and unfortunate detail about Madman Lugus's fortress. First of all, Altmar and all that, and they prefer not to skip them. Now, in response to these comments, I've often said that in order to have Svanriga on the throne, you don't really need to skip the quests. You can do them both, you can do the feast, some way. There is Udalric location. Okay. Uh, head to the island shown on the map. Uh, Swordlight is the fast trail point you offer. Here's where you need to head. Okay. Let's look. Is it here? No. It's probably... Oh, this is Warlight. Okay, that's where I need to go. I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first threw a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. started it had to I'd sooner believe one of our own men who know what honor is don't want any more bloodshed but I'll defend myself if I have to 
you'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman. That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Why do I have to bother with all this shit? It's just a fucking contract. I thought I was done. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. I should have probably chosen that. The other dialogue. Wait, how the fuck am I running? This is so annoying. I can't even... I don't have an inventory. How the fuck am I heavy then? This makes no sense. Maybe I am wearing something that's heavy? I don't know. my trial when the Jarl summons you Work the, the longer a man crushes rocks the less eager he is to get leapt during trial this one's waited a year that one three listen maybe we can make a deal they took my things, but... You aren't on the continent. Can't buy me. Not with gold, not with honors. You're bored. Grab a pickaxe. I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. Fucking asshole. No way he's keeping us so long. Wants to build a new car. Needs a lot of stone for that. Well, what do you want? To help you, Drifter. Know how to escape? Escape? Nay. Yeah. But there's other ways of it. I can ensure Lugas will try you to deal. To be free sooner, or go under the axe. Either way. Out today. Go on. Owes me a favor, one of the guards. I can get him to take you to Lugos. Then you can owe me a favor. What do you say? Mm, why is he not getting out yet? If you can get the guard to do that, why are you still in here? Ugh. You don't know Simon Brambling. Many seek my death. I'm safe from the vengeance here. The time for mine's not yet right. Oh, understood. That sounds good. Tell the guard to take you to Lucas. Tell him he does that. Simon will forget what happened at Fearstar. So what happened at Fearstar? None of your concern. Just go to him. Repeat what I said. Board. Grab 
about what happened at Fearsdal, for example. Shut it. <laughs> Hey, good folk. Wanna hear what our brave guard did at Fearsdal? Such a trap, damn it. How the hell did you know about it? From Simon Brambling. He promised to forget if you take me to see the Jarl. Brambling. Or like Simon Lucelep. Ah, fine. Come with me. My line gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Aye, killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh. Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me! Insults our whole clan! The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually, end of the next century or so. I've a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home late, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid late on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the island, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his mother. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. It all started in the fucking tavern. The cave of James. I don't have to do that right now. This is called Kyre Muir or something, okay. Let's go to this. Uh, this, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Quach on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. 
take care. What is it you wish? Where do I find Sirius? This thing is locked. And this is the way I talk to anything. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler? Hungry? Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Glass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you, and my blessings to Sarah when you see her. Now here's a family one. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, everything, fucking everything is fixing here. Uh, this is the only thing I have got. No, not really. I have many other things, but. This is the most powerful one. I can throw one of these away. Drop this shit. It's a waste of space. And I can just keep it. It's, it's weak, but it's not the weakest here. I don't have the, this thing. What is this actually for? Weapon repair. I can use it on this. Uh, it's uh, east of the village, right? I think this is the place, probably.
leaden balls and threw it up. What good would leaden balls be? There's a wraith, not some devil. So what do we do? Wonder Go to the truth? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? This wraith. I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? Know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me. His granddad said the wraith was called Ula the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered. It always recovered from his wounds. Ula weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Hormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ula, the unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ula, ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula who couldn't take it no more, stuck a dagger in his back. As he died, Thoma cursed him. May you lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ulis haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. Mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beating him. Bullbugger keeps coming back, though. Can't organize no normal fights precisely because of that. What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speaker of boats were famous all across Gallagher. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. All right. Could try my hand at driving away this specter. Not for free, though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse. And the premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh, sure you're not getting carried away there? A little eye, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the wraith. You'll deserve a premium from the earnings, he will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. Yeah. You guys um Oh, fuck. 
are those people? If I keep going like this, I'm gonna find them. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ulla the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber. Your cries of die, wraith of night shall defeat you. Spectre of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death. Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how it'll be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work, and defeat the ghost of the arena. Draw your weapon. Draw in, draw in. We'll make it quick. And not too much drama, if you don't mind. Well done. You done it. Bravo. Be back again soon. So long. That was useless. Others have defeated Ula before me. He's always come back. Gotta think of something else.
me where we can. Then we will do something. Huh. Need more time in the eyes. Build your pocket chain. Her name is Barbara. We heard we got the pills. We just went down. Whoa, what a song. See you bought papers on the Spike group, where the fuck is Spike group? What is his name again? Eric. Eric. Oh, the whole island is called Spike Road. Mm, north coast of Spike Road by the landing.
pretty sad him. Come on. Swarming like goals around the waist heap. I'd be sure we showed them. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What need I march around the country singing in your praises? No. Just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You help me with the sea devils. But that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Where's Ceres? Tell me. Just about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Saris. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Kurt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I need it to lift the curse that holds Ulrich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellig. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a 
feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Uderic had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about Find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my dad, we were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. 
In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. It stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrek hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skelliger, our land, and we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher, Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Clumsy sop.
must be the place. What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What the fuck? When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after, sleep came over me, so I lay down. It was then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. always demand you offer them your suffering only that pleases them so they ask for more and more the gods speak from the shadows you said is that why you don't allow any lights in here in my dreams at times I see their form when the torches burn bright to see the gods is a great honor maybe with more light in your house you'd see them when you're awake as well lesser men are unworthy they cannot gaze upon their faces 
the gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. 
Uh huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name's not Yennefer, no one will call you Henpeck for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. I care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. No, no. Sarah's had a plan, but we'll do it my way. Deal with you later. Let's go. The Hind won't leave on its own. This isn't over. Just made yourself an enemy. I'd have made no such thing if you'd only trusted me. And tossed an infant in the oven? I don't think so. The babe would have been fine. Round back the oven, there's another door. I'd have pulled the child out before the flames could even warm him. The Hyam would have thought you'd kill the Tyke. It would have abandoned Udalric. I'd have showed it the babe then, safe and sound. It would have had to go. Hmm, not a bad scheme. Just risky. I'd rather do it the Witcher's way. Let me talk to Udalric. I'll explain what you wanted, what happened here. What Ceres did, don't hold it against her. She wanted to help banish the voices that haunt you. Help! 
Casting my babe in an oven? Things will calm down. You'll talk, figure it out. She had the best intentions. Important you know that. Yet she did not win your trust. Because I decided to solve this the Witcher's way. I know what haunts you, whispers in your ear, commands you to hurt yourself. It's neither the gods nor your brother. But I hear it. Clear as a bell. The voice speaks. The voice is that of a Heim. The creature feeds on the guilt you feel for not helping Aki. Good news is we can defeat it. And the bad? We gotta survive a night in its lair. Your old house. No. No, no. That'll end badly. It can't end well. I can feel it. Get yourself together. If we're to stand a chance, you need to be strong. You need to be a Skelliger. I am a Skelliger. We need to prepare the house first. Light some torches in the main room. Make sure they illuminate every nook and cranny. And then? Then you just need to show up. I'll take care of the rest. Fear not, Jarl. We'll tend to everything. You should rest in the interim. Witcher. There's an old shed beside the house. It was used for storing tools and such. You might find torches there. Thanks. Udrick. I have never let your baby hurt you know that. It was a trick. Who wanted to To see what would have happened to hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Havelach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mist. Oh, a few hours later. Over there! She's run into the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the babe. In the oven. Throw him in the oven! The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go.
It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? <clears throat> You'll be fine. The key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Succession. Now we get to participate in some real shit. How the fuck do I help them? Where will it be decided? Probably Kyre Trolls. Lodge of Sorceresses. choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. 
Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, got it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Play it out. I think I don't know that. But you saw, she's so. so. Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, when they're twins in that regard. Don't see crap. You're talking to the Arles. No, went to his chambers. Prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisty cups with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. I drink last night too. Something I've always wondered. What will you witches do with a giant box in a mine? That's a respect which anyone chosen by the gods could have come to the shine of a weak arm swinging an egg. Last night was you. Greg. Wait, is that a fucking wolf? Yes, what you know Not me, nor that witch. Shut the fuck up. My teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so? <laughs> Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the build cards and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, Wolf. <laughs> Let's see what happens, man. They're like some worms. Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. His gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Uh, 
man as the mood strikes. Brand those swords, but I prefer we trust the axe. Heard <laughs> you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Nah, it is the same shit again. Not in the mood to fight. That time of the month, eh? Get out of here, you grid cunt. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, lashings, or giants around? How do they resolve this? Killing giants, one thing, but not fox in a hive. I knew it was the only one who's seen by the gods. Mr. Mick is the most general of the ribbons. I'm in this side to be so much. What do you witchers do when there are no basilisks, lashings, or giants around? Do them all. Where am I supposed to go? Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Um. Van Riggs not buying for I don't fucking know what that is. Leaving Kertrolda. Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a Hakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Understood. Uh, I'm guessing there's an alternative motive to I'm torn between Yalmar and Cirrus. Okay, this is more important to me. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Cirrus. You mean do I have a favorite? Nay, they're as different as fire and water, but on great blood flows in both. I think Skellig will listen. Between you and me, the Almar's not too hard headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hard headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. That is Yadman. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skellige, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone. That Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. Yeah. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one.
Fucking hell. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! How did fucking bears come in here? Oh, once. I put through. I shot got my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Those bears come from, huh? Answer now. Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup. Or crack or lose a son, too. You will sell me, Lucas. And now you threaten my son. Step to this. Now come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. What in the world actually fucking happened? Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened? Learn all your want. Meantime, I'll go watch the shame of our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the trailer's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Someone the healer hand the fallen home to their families. Wolf. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centering wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, on the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. 
Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They, they were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. No one died. Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Lubor Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you found. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Is their fucking leg in front of me? Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Altrick. Shit. No more than a kid. some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? Skulls named for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Freer or a mother. 
me the sea swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the meat barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Marjoram related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Marjoram were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, uh. nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Man, this Skellige shit is getting interesting. I was kind of finding this place boring. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. I knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, need's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison of the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of right the finest. You. That's a relief. This mead's clean. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another egg behind the barrel, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Life? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One where the diamonds are made. When Yalmar and I were let low, we it's came gotta here. be. When I 
can't get my hands on that pyromaniac. That's tank. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Ask for clearer prints. Sticky from the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Ironfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. We'll chase him down. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bark Dot! you betray them. Talk or I'll finish what I started. No uncreat should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berners, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Fearna Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Bernard. Commanded me to poison the maid. 
when Ceres and the Witcher descended into the cellars. The traitors. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Werner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Berna's right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Olgar, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? Why did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. I suppose her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Swan, we get. I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedine, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Gladly. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. That woman behind got some big titties. Word long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty!
I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 during the ceremony, furious to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans, but I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Ahnaf Tahmin Thai, sir. Hello, King. I got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Carl has mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the wild hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Cairn Ward. That'll be out there. I'm looking for allies. I can't do it for the now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, nah, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet, I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which will do her good now, I think of it. We showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been putting heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Care Warren. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more? No one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Oh, let's 